Welcome to the CATIA v5 tutorial. This is tutorial number one, and it covers how to format your CATIA v5. To start off, let's click Tools, click Options, and what we're going to do is we're going to edit a few options in here. So first off, we have the parameters selected and the units. Now in this tutorial, what we're going to be using is the millimeters, so make sure that in length that you have millimeters, and for mass that we have kilograms. Now I also want the uh, trailing zeros to be displayed, so click that box and I'm going to show six trailing zeros for everything that I'm going to be doing. Now let's go on the side here and click general. Now the other option I want to adjust in here is the data save. So what the data save does is it automatically makes a backup of everything that you've been doing on Katia. Now right now it's set to 30 minutes and I want to change it to 10 minutes. So I'm going to type in 10, press enter, and click OK. Now, what this is going to do now is that every 10 minutes, Katia is automatically going to save everything that's running in my sessions. This is very important as if Katia ever crashes on you, when you go to open it back up, everything's going to be displayed that you were previously working on. So if you select no automatic back, uh, backup, nothing's going to happen when you open it up again. You won't have an option to view the data that you were previously working on and everything's going to be lost. So I highly recommend to have the automatic backup every 10 minutes. Now it does take a little bit of memory and space but it's well worth it for the time and agony that you might find down the road. And that concludes our tutorial on how to format your CATIA v5.